Hello and welcome to my first hair cutting tutorial ever. This is Monica and she's decided that she wants to chop her hair off into a long bob. She's been obsessed with this haircut for so long and wanted to do something new. So I actually created a hair cutting head sheet for you guys. For anybody who wants to get a little bit more technical and have the breakdown. So let's get started. First, I've already sectioned her hair from the front to the back. So she has three sections. So you can see there's number one and number two for the to break up the front two sections of the head and then three in the back. Just make sure you're following the part line from where they part so that you're going to break up that front section right on where they part. Now we're going to go in and bring it down our partings from the back so we're going to be starting at the back section in the back taking horizontal partings with zero elevation so what I'm going to do is make a nice horizontal parting we want to be taking smaller sections when we're doing this initial haircut because we want to make sure that we can see our guide if you're a little bit more pro with haircuts then you can take a little bit larger of sections once you have that done you're gonna take your first one down and comb it all out I actually like to turn around the cape for this because in the back where that button part is, it can actually make it a little bit frustrating. So I just turn this around so I have a straight shot on the back that's not going to get in my way so I don't cut my cape. Then I'm going to just recomb and then position her head down. I always tell my clients to tuck their chin in. That way it's going to create kind of a little bit of an undercut and then let the layers on top fall down. So now I'm going to section my part. I'm gonna bring this down to where I want her length to be and I'm going to hold it at zero elevation and I'm going to be point cutting this across. We're going to keep it nice and squared out in the back so that it's eventually going to get a little bit longer towards the sides. I just kind of checked where my length was by tilting her head back up and then I just placed her head back down with her chin tucked in so I could continue cutting this section. It's all about checking and making sure where your length is falling and double checking on the sides to make sure that your lengths are even on both sides. And when I'm doing this, like I said, it's at zero elevation and I'm keeping this very squared out in the back. So you don't wanna be pulling the sides of your hair out to the corners or anything like that. You wanna keep it nice and squared out because once that hair starts to move forwards a little bit, it's going to automatically create it to be longer towards the front. So you're going to continue to see me just kind of point cut this across and the reason why I like to point cut is because it's going to make it a lot softer and not be so blunt because this haircut is a little bit more textured without having a lot of layering done. So then once I finish up, finish up that parting and I get all of that cut, I'm just going to recomb and then cross check and verify that I have cut everything nice and even. Then I'm going to drop down another parting and I'm going to I like to do this in just one big part or just one big section in the back and then I take my part line across the entire section because it's just easier for me. I like it because I don't have to like work on two sides. So all I'm going to do is drop down another parting and comb this out and then using my guide from underneath. You want to make sure that you can see your hair from underneath. So using that guide, I'm just going to follow that guide and point cut in this next layer of hair. Cross check at the end of every part that you pulled down and cut so we can definitely make sure that we are not overdoing it and kind of exaggerating aside. I'm going to continue to kind of just drop the rest of this hair down taking horizontal partings and cutting all of the rest of her hair using the underneath cut line or guide line as a guide. This haircut is actually super simple. It's just a few minor things to make sure that it looks perfect. So now once I have this whole sec this whole section done, I'm just going to check it, make sure that it looks nice and beautiful, and then we're going to move on towards the face. So now we're gonna be working in sections one and two. I'm going to take a horizontal diagonal forward part line, and I'm going to comb all of this out. Now this is going to be over directed back to the previous section. So I'm going to have her turn her head towards her shoulder and then down a little bit. You guys can see I'm over directing it back to that previous section. How much you guys over direct depends on how much you guys really want to have that kind of A-line effect from shorter to longer. So I kind of just pulled it back to that shorter and eyeballed exactly where I want it to be from the description of the pictures that she showed me. More over direction, longer hair in the front. 
shorter or less over direction uh, shorter hair in the front so once you have that initial guide cut in I'm going to drop another horizontal diagonal forward parting and I'm going to comb all of this back and over direct it back and now that under section which is my guide I'm going to just copy and mimic and cut and point cut into this section once again or this parting once again and then just kind of checking it what I like to do is I like to get a little bit of that initial kind of cut in on those first two partings and then I just like to show the client so that they can see where it's falling so once you kind of show them where it is just continue to pull down all of your partings until this entire section is cut this haircut is so much fun. I am so stoked that I have it on my head and that I'm being able to do this on Monica today because it's still long, it's still sexy and super fun. And I just think this is such a great haircut for someone who wants to go shorter with their long hair but doesn't want to commit to a full shortcut. So now I'm just kind of showing her again where it's gonna fall, how it's going to fall and she is so excited. I'm going to repeat the same process to the other side on that section and then at the end I'm just going to bring it all forward and cross check it in the front to make sure that both of these sides are nice and even. Then we're going to blow dry and then do dry cutting. What I did is I just put a little bit of some styling gel in her hair to kind of give it a little bit of texture and then I'm just going to power dry it the whole entire way because I want it to be not so smooth and blown out looking. Then I'm going to section the front from the back just like we did when we did the initial haircut and then taking a horizontal part line from across the crown area, I'm going to take up this top layer right here and I'm going to clip it up. What this is going to do is I'm going to actually be doing a lot of point cutting in, um, into the layers underneath. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out a nice size chunk of a vertical section going from that crown all the way down to the nape area. And I'm going to use my thinning shears, pulling this out at kind of like I guess like a, a 45 maybe a little bit more than a 45 and I'm going to go in and I'm going to slide cut with my thinning shears and take and remove weight out of the hair then I'm going to just continue to do this by taking sections working towards the ear I'm going to be making sure I mean we're elevating this guys but we're not going to be over directing this so I'm just slide cutting as you guys can see probably in the last maybe like two to three inches of her ends this all depends on how much weight you want to remove or how much you want to keep. She's got some nice thick hair, so I want to remove a lot of weight from this underneath part. And then once we have gotten done one side of the hair, I just kind of like to look at it and kind of shake it a little bit to see if there's any more weight sitting in a place. And I'll go in and just visually kind of take out some of that weight. Once you do that side, just move on to the next side and do that all the way towards the ear once again. This is such a great method to remove hair because it is easy, it's not going to make any lines, and like I said, it's underneath. So now we're going to move to that top section. I'm going to break it up into three and do basically the same thing. I'm going to elevate this more to a 90 degree elevation, and if I have any layers on top that are a little bit long for me, I'm just gonna kind of point cut them off. And then I'm going to recomb this and take weight by holding my hair out of vertical position and then just slide cutting some of that weight out. I'm going to do a little bit less in this top layer because I want those underneath kind of point cutted and texturized little bits to kind of pop out. I love that this doesn't have layers. I love that it's more of a textured cut. It's so much fun, especially when you go in and style it out. So I'm just going to continue to do this to the whole entire top crown area. After I finish, I'm just going to visually check it and make sure that there's no parts that I need to go in and kind of take out more weight. Then we're going to move to the front. So I'm going to take an entire vertical section from her part line all the way down to like the bottom of her ear. Now you guys are gonna see me comb this out and then watch as I drop right on that bottom part right near the ear. I wanna make sure that I'm keeping the weight line and I'm not gonna make any holes by removing too much weight. So I'm going to leave that out and I'm not going to texturize that part. So what I'm going to do is direct it up again at a 90 degree elevation and then I'm just kind of going to go in and slide cut out more weight just like we did in the back. Just make sure that you guys put down that part where the ear is just a tiny little piece that way we're not going to take out too much weight and it looks kind of hollow in the front. 
I'm just going to do the same thing moving towards her face until I have texturized all of her hair again dropping that underneath section a small section so that I'm not taking a hole out once I have that all of that texture put in there I'm just going to double check it and do the same process to the other side now I'm just kind of visually checking it out and showing her and seeing the softness. So now we're going to go in and put some curls in. I'm using my Moroccan oil hairspray. This is the finishing spray to kind of give her a little bit of hold. I'm using a one and one fourth inch curling iron. I'm curling this all away from her face by leaving about two inches of her ends out for a little bit more of that modern undone look. Then I'm going to go in and mess everything up and break up that texture to give you just that really gorgeous curl and wave. She had me show her how to do it because she was like, every single time that I try to do my curls, it just doesn't turn out right. So I showed her how to do it in the way that I love to curl the hair to get the perfect wave. And there you guys have it, how to cut a perfect long bob or lob. I love this haircut on her. I love this haircut on me. It is just so fun and fantastic. If you guys haven't seen my vlog of me getting my haircut like this, go check it out. If you guys like this haircutting video, please give it a like and then let me know your guys' thoughts if you guys want to see more haircutting videos down below in the comments.